Mike Wolf of American Pickers was observed speeding and cutting off his car while doing errands in Tennessee. Mike had previously been pulled over for speeding. When Mike, 60, isn't shooting American Pickers, he frequently travels for work to neighboring Columbia and Nashville. He resides in Lapers Fork, Tennessee. Exclusively to the U.S. Sun, Mike was spotted violating traffic regulations as he traveled the roughly 23 miles to the town of Columbia from his $1 million mansion. On November 3, Mike was spotted driving his vintage blue Mercedes and stepping over the double yellow line to pass another car in images that were exclusively obtained by the U.S. Sun. Mike was also seen exceeding the speed limit by the U.S. Sun. The U.S. Sun was able to verify that Mike had previously been pulled over for speeding on January 10, 2021 in Franklin. Keep watching for more details. Hi viewers, my name is Elena. Welcome to my channel. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's start. Mike entered a guilty plea and paid the whole traffic penalty, according to court documents. Columbian King Mike pays Columbia a visit frequently to see how his different ventures and residences are doing. Previous coverage of Mike's $93 million project in Columbia may be seen in the U.S. Sun. Property records show that Mike has bought seven business buildings in the Little Hamlet. The U.S. Sun was previously informed by a source that the project would cost $93 million. The community is pleased that Mike is taking on this challenge to revitalize Columbia. One commercial property is 4,320 square feet and valued at $214,100, according to property records. Hazelwood Laboratories, whose business description states, Boutique Music Systems for Hospitality and Home is the tenant of the site. Additionally, Mike acquired ownership of a $192,700, 2,900-square-foot property. The facility is rented out to Mule Town Coffee. There is another business property with 4,653 square feet with a $336,300 appraisal. The venue is the Packard Playhouse, a drama theater. Additionally, Trek Bicycle Store Columbia rents out a commercial space owned by Mike. The 6,279-square-foot facility is valued at $464,400. A TWO Lane House, Two Lanes Guest House, an upstairs flat that Mike rents out, is included in the square footage. The American Pickers star is reportedly charged $275 a night from Friday to Sunday and $200 per night from Monday to Thursday, according to a prior story from the U.S. Sun. The rate is $425 per night for holidays, which include Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. A $100 cleaning charge, $25 per person if more than two stay at the property, a 14.25% lodging tax, and a security deposit are additional costs. The accommodations include a king-sized bedroom, a pull-out couch that can become a queen bed, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a laundry area. Mike himself selected the antiques that adorn the room. Regarding the area on the webpage, Mike remarked, there's a lot to see and do here. I wanted to design a place where guests could enjoy the perks of lodging on a small town's main street. Listening to the clock in the tower atop the 1905 courthouse chime every hour while gazing outside the 13-foot windows is one of my favorite things to do. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day. You can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. Missouri Motor Alley in November 2017, Mike paid $400,000 for the 1948 built Columbia Motor Alley, the site of the old Chevrolet dealership. With a gigantic 13,440 square feet, the structure is estimated to be worth $717,400. Prior to Mike Wolf purchasing it, the facility housed a car restoration shop, 
according to a source close to Mike who spoke with the U.S. Sun earlier. In the garage area, he employs people to work on bicycles and other things. Here, Mike puts his motorcycles and automobiles on display. He has automobiles, bikes, motorbikes, and antiques that he finds for the event. A store selling shirts, caps, oil cans, mugs, and other items is also there. There are two antique patrol pumps outside the business. In addition, a number of historic vehicles from Mike's own collection are on show, such as an Indian motorbike, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and a black Ford Model A. In the spring, summer, and fall, Mike also hosts Columbia, Coffee, and Cars. A new e-theory, the U.S. Sun was able to access property documents showing that on September 15, 2022, Mike also spent $600,000 on a 976-square-foot property. The outside work is finished, as the U.S. Sun previously reported, and the facility will be used as a restaurant. There's a wooden pergola in front of the restaurant with lights hanging from the beams. Underneath the pergola, there are gray pavers instead of concrete. For those who would want to sit by the fire, there is a brick seat in addition to pavers in the fire pit area. There are raised pavers next to the brick fire pit that will serve as a platform for performances and karaoke. Brick planter boxes filled with bushes and a black metal fence border the outside space. At the time, a source informed the U.S. Sun, it's going to be a restaurant. They want to provide pizza, drinks, and other similar items for sale. In front of the building, construction workers are creating a pergola, a fire pit, and a karaoke stage. A.N.E. On May 20, 2022, Mike paid $700,000 for a house with three bathrooms and 3,166 square feet, located just outside of the little town. A wood deck, detached carport, cabana, utility building, porch, basement, and other features are included in the brick home's amenities. However, Mike might not be done purchasing real estate since the U.S. Sun was able to get images of him seeing a brand new business facility back in November. ASPI no FS series? Mike even proposed to the network a spin-off program on revitalizing Colombia. He offered a spin-off program to the network on what he's doing in Colombia, a source previously told the U.S. Sun. He is revitalizing the town by establishing enterprises. In addition, Mike travels to Nashville to see how his antique archaeology business is doing.